All right, now we're gonna be looking at uh, putting an actual angle in to find out uh, what a trug function of an angle is equal to. So uh, we have to make sure that we're in degrees. You all will probably be using a phone, but I'm gonna be using a calculator. Uh, make sure you're in degrees. And this is just saying what, what is the ratio of side lengths given some angle. So we know, for instance, on 93, sine of some angle is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Well, it's saying that sine of 44 degrees, so sine of 44 degrees is equal to 0.6947, if I round that, 6947. Well, all that's saying is that uh, if I have a, tr a right triangle and one of the angles is 44 degrees, that the ratio of opposite over hypotenuse will equal 0 0.6947. All right, so once we put that, or once we know that decimal, then if we're given an angle in a triangle, like this next section where we're supposed to find the side, we can find out a trig function of the angle, and that's just a decimal. So for instance, if we look at um, 119, 119 says uh, that we have a right triangle, we have a 61 degree angle, we have one leg that's 15, and the hypotenuse is x, so we want to find it. So we use the, the information that this 61 degree angle, uh, we can find a decimal with the right trig function. So first we're gonna label the triangle like we did before. Find the right angle, label the hypotenuse across from that, and then we're going to look at the reference angle, which is 61, since that's what we're given. Across from that is opposite, all right? And next to it is adjacent. So now we have to figure out what function is gonna be useful. If we have this angle, we have this side is given, and we're finding that side, we're dealing with opposite and hypotenuse. So we look back at our trig functions. I'll put them up here. Okay, here are our trig functions. Uh, opposite and hypotenuse. So opposite and hypotenuse is sine. So sine of some angle is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So sine of 61 equals 15 over x. All right, now we know sine of 61 is just a decimal because we figured out how to make or how to find the decimal of a trig function of an angle. So we just say that's some number equals 15 over x. So to solve it, we would multiply both tops by x to get it out of the bottom. And then we'll have sine of 61 times x is equal to 15. Now to solve for x, we just divide both sides by sine of 61, which is just a number, sine of 61. Now, to figure this out, those sines of 61 cancel out here, and we get x equals whatever 15 over sine of 61 is. So I just do 15 divided by sine of 61. And that is 17.15, or 17.2. 17, 17 Rounded to the nearest tenth. Oh, sorry. All right. 